Uh, it's nice to hear you're not losing your accent at all. And the many times I've heard, oh, she's getting this uh, American twang. I read this yesterday, actually, but you're not at all. I'd be like, what, what is wrong with your ears? Uh-huh. And if you were to say that to American, you know, somebody, oh, but my accent sounds American, they'd laugh at yeah. you. Yeah. Right? I think there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Uh, is it nice that, uh, that you're maybe not recognised quite as much that you... It you, is yeah. brilliant. It's brilliant. Because where I live is really quiet too, and although LA is like 40 minutes away, uh -huh. it's nice to, I can't prefer being out by the beach, mm -hmm. where it's really relaxed. And if somebody comes up, you know, if you get somebody like on holidays there, like yeah. here or Ireland, uh -huh. I never know, you know, what they be coming up to me for. I'd be like, um, hello, are you alright? <laughs> And then you hear the accent and you're like, oh, right, okay. Like, right, okay. And you know what happened last year? Just a couple ago, this, there was a whole crowd of um, kids from, well, not kids, I don't know, people from Ireland, mm -hmm. you know, from university and stuff, oh, like geez. a year off, and uh -huh. they were spent three months right where I live, <laughs> in So that was that summer ruined for you? working in the shop, so that was actually really funny. The whole place, it was like O'Connell Street. <laughs> and, so, and suddenly so everyone I, knew who you were. Hi, and suddenly there were just Irish people coming out of everywhere. Uh, we spread. That was good. <laughs> that was good. So, Nadine, obviously it's an obvious thing with, with spending a lot of time there, but I mean, does, has there been any chat of movies or TV or anything like that, or is, do you just not have time for that? don't have time. I just do not have time at all. It's one of those things where if something really great came along mm -hmm. and the opportunity to do it was there, like I had free time, yeah. then, you know, I would think about it. But I don't really like doing things unless you know that you can do it 100%. Yes. You really do your best and do a good job at it. Mm -hmm. I don't see the point in taking something on just for the sake of, oh, okay, this is a good opportunity, and then being shit at it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so, would you like to do something like, you know, like Heroes or something like that, you know, a cool TV show, or I suppose that, that takes months and months, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, and, you know, predominantly I'm a, I'm a singer. Yes. And I, I, that's what I'm, I'm comfortable doing, and that's what I have time to do. Yeah, yeah. And that takes up a lot of time. So, for now, it's just that. Cool. Do you ever, um, I mean, obviously your parents have got the, the bar and stuff, are you in there a lot? Do you ever, uh, do you ever find you pulling pints and behind the bar or anything? Well, it's just try, It's just hard to kind of spread myself between both. I'm always trying to, that's also why I have to keep going back to LA so much. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not feasible sometimes for three days, there's a lot of things to be yeah. physically sorted out. Yeah. You have to sign and be there and know about. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, I do. Whenever you can, I guess. Whenever I can. I don't work as hard as probably I should. <laughs> well, you've got other things in your mind. Yeah. Nadine, obviously the FHM Sexiest 100 is out. You're, you're in there again. You've beaten like Kylie and Kate Moss and J-Lo. Do, do, no. do you think about that sort of thing? Do you just laugh it off? No, or? just laugh at all. Can you imagine if you got yourself all really annoyed, you know, oh my god, I'm only numbered. <laughs> I've dropped the place. I'm only numbered 99. <laughs> you, could, you could seriously get yourself under a deep depression with that. Uh -huh. It must be nice though, um, you know, just to see that, that you know, when there, there's been all this chat recently about, about you getting thin and stuff, and so it must be nice to see that you're still so, seen as so sexy. Oh my god, so that was like a, I don't know, quite know how to take that comment, what do you think? <laughs> I think you're gorgeous. <laughs> of course I do. Do you uh, know what was funny about that skinny thing? Because yeah. one day I had, um, I had food poisoning, mm -hmm. and I just came back from LA, so I didn't know if it was just really bad jet lag or actual food poisoning, and it was food poisoning. And then we done one day of work, mm -hmm. And they've taken all the pictures that they've used, you know, on Heat Magazine and stuff. Uh -huh. have all been from the same day. Right, okay. Do you think that whole thing, that whole debate has just come from this one day where you've been ill and stuff? It, well, that's the pictures that they're using. Right, okay. So I don't know. And it just really does depend on a picture they could have yeah. had. That same day, you know, and maybe you're laughing in the wrong way and you look like you've got a double chin. <laughs> That's the thing. You can't really read too much on it. It's uh -huh. not worth 
not worth even looking at it and having an opinion on it either way. Yeah. Um, obviously, with this sort of thing, you know, young girls can, can look at these things and, and take it either way. So, what would you kind of say to them to, to bear in mind that it is just a picture and it could be just on the day or, or yeah, you know, it could not? Yeah, on the day. Think about when you're out with your friends in the nightclub or out, you know, enjoying yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get a really great picture where you yeah. get and sometimes you can get a terrible one, but it's on the same night. Yeah. And it's all, they say the camera never lies, that's a lie. Yeah, the it always cool. lies. Cool. Alright, well, you're still my screensaver on my computer anyway, so you're not looking that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what picture is that? Oh, it's a, it's a really old one actually, from a while ago. Oh. Um, I can't remember what video it was, but you're there anyway. Well, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so Nadine, thanks for talking to me. Thank you. Thank and uh, enjoy your tour, okay? Alright, thank all right. you. Will you be coming to see it? Yes, time? definitely, in Glasgow. In Glasgow, alright. Yeah. So, so, hopefully see you then. Yes. Yeah, alright, thanks right. a lot. See you later, bye. bye.